This is going to be the ultimate mower battle. Well, I have a wonderful electronic invention I want you to see. see, see. It, it looks something like this. get into that neutral position and it flings, oh. and the whole unit stops, you definitely fling. I don't have the largest hands, I'll be honest, but this is really far away. Like, it's uncomfortable. So is there anything you actually like about this mower, Brian? Um, it's like some companies don't want me testing out their tools and equipment. I can't figure out why. There's a lot of things I can see. We have room for improvement on on this thing. Yes, sir. It does a good job of flattening the grass. Right. <laughs> but if I wanted to run over it, I could bring my four-wheeler out here and do just about as good of a job and have a little bit more fun sure. than I could doing with this. All right, guys, so today, didn't turn out the way I expected it would. I went to Detroit and I hooked up with my buddy Brian from Brian's Lawn Maintenance and this guy does an amazing job of doing reviews on equipment. His attention to detail is like psychic. I mean, I don't really know what that means but what I'm trying to say is he does a really good job. And so today, you're gonna get his feedback on what he really thinks of this Husqvarna lawnmower and then I give it a test run and then I let Elliot give it a test run and we all kind of start to come to the same conclusion that until they improve this design, maybe you should just test it out before you buy it. Oh, hey, one last thing, guys. Before we get too far into this video, I want to make sure that you guys understand that I think this is literally the prototype of the lawnmower. I think it may be first gen at best. So if you guys are looking at buying one of these, there's a very good chance that they've modified the design and made the improvements that we're pointing out in this video. If they haven't, well, I got nothing to say if they haven't. Whatever you want to do. All right guys, I'm here with my buddy Brian and we're looking at the Husqvarna. Tell me exactly what we're looking at. This is Husqvarna's brand new lawnmower. We got the V554. In fact, they just dropped it off about a week and a half ago, so we've been demoing it. We got about 12 hours on it so far under our belt. This is Husqvarna's uh, introduction to the stand-on game. So, so far we've been able to use it for the last week or two, like I said, and quite honestly, uh, I, there's some things I like about it, definitely some things I don't like about it. I'm sure we'll get into it here on this video. Uh, it's a sweet mower, honestly, straight up. It's been fun to use the last couple days, and. Um, some things I like, some things I don't. Okay, well tell me tell me about it. I want to know everything about it now. You first off, yeah. let's clarify something. Elliot, look over here real quick. This is the type of stuff you're mowing with it, right Brian? Yep. Okay. We got Kentucky bluegrass, this is a couple inches. What Brian doesn't know is I'm gonna do something you typically wouldn't do with it. Uh oh. Happens over before, there, brother. before we get into <laughs> what I plan on doing with this, yep. I actually want to know your experience using it in a professional environment just mowing day to day yep. taking it out on commercial sites sure and i'm sorry guys it's super windy out yep. but i mean it's uh, hopefully you guys can hear us okay we don't have mics no level ears right 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 so um i am not too familiar with stand on units most of you guys know i'm an smart guy i use laser z sit down lawn mowers but uh we've been demoing a lot of stand on units on my channel lately <laughs> he's old school old school brother you know but the stand downs <laughs> are awesome i'm in the market for one in the next 12 months so i've been having a lot of companies demo them to me so i can see what I'm going to pull the trigger on here, probably this fall or next spring. So this is the second mower that I've used so far uh, as a demo. This one's from Husqvarna. This is a uh, 24, 25 horsepower engine, uh, 54 inch cutting deck. I think 10 or 12 cc pumps on the front. Look at this guy. Safety first, brother. <laughs> safety first, man. You gotta have the sexy specs. <laughs> I gotta have somebody blast me for my safety. Wait, 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 wait. Are those Dewalt? These are. I don't know. Who are these? These are Dewalt. So I got I got Cheeto crumbs all over me. What? Oh my God! Did we just become best friends? Whoa! <laughs> We've used the Skag, the Husqvarna. We got the rest coming down. So if people want to watch on our channel, that's what we're doing. What do you, what do you got coming down next? Uh, Toro wants to send their grandstand. We've got the Ferris is coming down. We've got. 
Well, just everybody. I, I'm trying to think of everybody off the top of my head, but okay. all of them want to, you know, show off what they got. Okay. Standards are really popular. A lot of you guys are tearing them up, so they're great units. What do you like about this one? Okay, stand on units, totally different than sit down, right? I like the visibility. I'm gonna shoot, like, just shoot it straight really quick. I like being able to see in front of where I'm at. When you're sitting down, I can't see what's going on in front of my deck, right? The second thing is that I like being able to get on and off the mower really easily. I'm, I picked up more trash in the last two weeks than I did probably in 2017. <laughs> because we do that debate, you know what I mean? Like, am I gonna go pick up that newspaper? Honestly, no, we're not. So we're gonna run over it, it's biodegradable, right? Just kidding, none of my, <laughs> none of my customers. We pick up all their trash. Um, there's certain things I like, certain things I don't like, but this unit, was that funny? <laughs> I tell you, man, I pick up trash and you guys know that debate, man, we think about it. And you get the little grabber claw on your rider, but you're still not using it, so. The Toro Grandstand's come with a garbage bag. For, well, that's yeah, an option. Is that four hundred dollars? You know, yeah, that's an option. Love Toro. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> everything you can get, anything you want, if you want to pay for it. I, th I like some things in this unit. Some things I definitely don't like. Um, I feel like this one specifically has one too many levers over here, right? So you got your brake right here. Right? So when I'm in a panic, if I'm going over a, a boulevard, right, and I'm, I don't want to scalp a lawn, I have no idea super quick which one to grab. There's too much going on. This right here is your deck release. That sounds cool, looks cool, but honestly, that is completely unnecessary in my opinion. I'm not here to slam it, but I got to bring it back up. I'd rather just be one button on top. Point number two, this lever is about eight inches too tall. It needs to be down here. If I'm going under a tree, I'm going to snag a branch. We're going to jackknife. You know how it goes. Not safe. Point. Number three, <clears throat> this brake lever, the safety for the wheels, needs to be on the other side. There's no reason I want to get confused with two or three levers to choose from. They should not be on this side. I want the brake lever on this side so it's completely isolated, completely separate, right? I like how picky he is. No, I... This is damn good. Do we use this stuff all day. If you want to show uh, another part right here, you got the throttle on top. When I have my safety, because this has a platform, right? We don't have the safety in the platform, we have the safety on top. Now I'm going to slam this in a second because I don't like this at all. But another issue is that when I have this on, which we need to make the more work, I have to move my arm over here to move the throttle up and down. I'm not going to do this. This is completely backwards. It's not intuitive. Uh, if I have trouble with it, as a veteran, I know new people are, and that's a big safety issue. So no bueno on that as well. We're gonna talk about the cut quality of this machine in just a few moments, but before we do that, I actually wanna demonstrate exactly what he's talking about with this safety lever and the automatic shutoff. It's not intuitive, it's kinda of wonky, and I'll tell you straight up, after using it, it really makes you appreciate any other lawnmower that doesn't have it. Okay, I'm not a fan of that, right there. Yeah. I'm not a fan of that at all I mean I think that that's that is kind of wonky I mean without even saying anything you were watching and you were saying oh they, they, you'd have to cut this like three four times to hopefully get it smooth and you went over it twice and it didn't really get much better no but also what I'm not a fan of is the release on the hand uh, grip yeah I saw you take your hand off the whole mower just dies yeah it's a kill and imagine turning so when you're turning you got some G's pulling you you get into that neutral position and it flings oh. and the whole unit stops you definitely fling so Elliot wanted to run the machine but being the safety chief I am I make him put on his, uh, his ear protection let's see how that goes Another thing, I don't like the safety in the handle. If I'm going three, four, five miles an hour, I bring it back to that neutral position. Yeah. That's an easy opportunity for me to get jackknife off the lawnmower gap. I'd rather not have the ability to flip up the platform and to walk it, to have the safety in the platform and to get rid of this potential safety um, benefit. But really it's a hindrance if you think about it, in my opinion. Does that make some sense to you? You know, one thing to point out, I've noticed that not a lot of companies reach out to me to do reviews on their products unless they are 100% confident in the products that they want me to review for them. Anything that seems to be marginal or even slightly room for improvement, they go to somebody else. And when they think they picked Brian, 
I think they picked the wrong guy. Brian is a straight shooter, and if you guys haven't checked out his channel, make sure you go over there because he's going to be reviewing all of these different stand on riding lawnmowers and helping you guys decide which one is best for you. So go over to Brian's channel and check him out. These are probably the best review of this that I've heard yet. Well, I mean, I, I love how you are straight to the point. Yeah. Not cut, not holding anything back, not saying saying anything. Yeah, no, well, thank you for that. Some, like. some other stuff that, it, it sounds good on paper, like when, you're when you're an engineer, right? Like right. you always talk about this, it sounds good on paper when you put it in the real world, it's completely backwards. You know, guys like me, we're not thinking three levers. If I'm going to scalp a lawn on a boulevard, I want to pull one handle real quick. I got a millisecond and I don't want to get mixed up, right? Right. Uh, if you want to look inside here, this got uh, a lot of people talking. Inside here, and you can look at all this, it, it's compact, it makes sense, but unfortunately it's a little too tight. First off, the battery is completely backwards. If I want to jump this, I cannot get jumper cables in there. It's impossible. Like You have to like almost come from the side. We we're looking at that. It's really, really tough to do. Another thing, looking at the dipstick, if you guys look at it, if I bring it all the way up, it's almost inaccessible. So I have to almost bend it, flex it. Where am I snaking this out from? I get compact. came to the conclusion that I don't think all engineers that build equipment actually run the equipment, especially on this lawnmower. So you let me know what you guys think. to have the weight distribution back here for safety right more right. stability on hills right but what I've noticed personally is that if I can't get access to something and it's not easy to do ie maintenance what are we gonna do we're gonna yeah, forego gonna maintenance. ignore it and that the, and the problem is is yep and that's a, that's saying a lot if it's the owner operator saying Seriously? I'm not gonna probably be doing the maintenance when you put this in the hands of the crew member that don't have to pay the bills yep exactly sounds good on paper if you want to see here's the oil filter down here not necessarily something to slate or it's bad, but when you drain it, here's the uh, the drain plug. Where am I going with this? I have to filter it all the way down through the bottom, and that's just, again, there's too much going on in there. It, it's okay, it's not bad. Why couldn't they have just spun it around to the front? I don't see why they couldn't have the dipstick right here. Ellie, we grab this camera? I mean, is there any reason why they couldn't have had the fill tube right here so you can just, boom, it's automatic. It's like you almost, your eye is drawn to it. Right so that you've got to take care of it. I mean, I like the fact that the, that the air filter is right here, but again, how is the access on this air filter? It's tight. I'd like to weigh in more as an engineer, but I'm honest with you, I'm an actor. Okay, so that's not that's not bad. I mean, you can get at that okay. Right. I don't know, but just the long-term maintenance of it, some of the stuff just seems a little tucked away in there. Most mowers, it's reverse. If you guys are interested in lawn mowers, I want you to go follow his channel because he's the one that's going to be going through all of these different mowers head to head and comparing them to make and, and giving all laying out all the data yeah and you're the only one that i know of doing this well i'll tell you straight up 
I, I appreciate the, the, the shout out because here's the deal. I'm gonna be dropping six to nine grand of my own money here by fall. So I'm just like you guys out there. Like, I'd love to say that all of us fancy YouTubers get paid a lot and you know we're getting all this stuff sent to us, but the reality is I put my own money in the game. So if I'm dropping my own cash, that's why all the demos. When I did the test for the right uh, mower, sure. I had that for the entire season and, and I'll tell you straight up, I learned more on month two, three, and four than I ever knew on week two, three, or four. I want you to cut right through here. Are you going to sing? I don't know. Let's give it a shot. That thing didn't even bog. It didn't even bog down. That's insane. It looks like a smooth ride. I know. That was intense. Hundred percent. It took me that long so that I so that when I did that review, I could actually go. This is what I know. Right, right. After and, a couple oil changes and getting your feet wet. Yeah. Different and, seasons. And breaking stuff. Absolutely. Like I went in and I even said, "Hey, I'm gonna, I'm gonna." I'm gonna beat the crap out yep. of this more and yep. and add rights to say said yep. Well, I would love like, to test out the right. How did you like the right? It was a pretty cool mower. That was a good mower. That's good. I, everybody in comments, a, they say they're a sweet mower. I, well, hey, can I add one thing really quick? Well, yeah, So course. check this out. We're also going to be uh, Gravely Ambassadors coming up into the summer. So okay. Gravely is going to give us a unit to demo for long term. So we're going to have the Gravely unit on there as well. And we're going to run that probably about 100 hours this summer. So that's another one where that's I- That's a good one to, to take, run. Exactly. I can weigh in on that pro stance because we're going to have it for the next you know six to nine months, whatever it is, going through the rest of the season, if that makes sense to you guys. That's so better. We cut, I always say 100 plus lawns a week, but it's about 175 lawns. What most people see through the camera is about 1%. So when I get mowers and units like this or any other tool, I will definitely find the kinks within the first week, if not the first month, like you were saying, because we were not actors, man. I put this stuff to work. I mean, I'm sweaty, greasy. We've been working all day. So I was able to pick this apart in the first week, no problem, because we're using it. And so that's what I want to do. I want to be a resource for you guys, especially on my channel, that if you're into this kind of stuff or hand tools and equipment, that you can come there, get honest feedback. So is there anything you actually like about this mower, Brian? Um, yeah, the compartment up here, it makes sense. For, uh, phone keys, it's a little thing, but it's a little big thing, okay? There's always stuff that we got to put in there, radios, cell phones, wallet, right? Um, honestly, Husqvarna, they've been one of the nicest companies to work with, straight up. Great okay. customer service, good people. That goes a long way. Yeah, good dealer network. So if that's a fact, and yep. they're actually listening, yep. then I would expect to see that this unit's probably going to be modified. Yes for future video references. 100%, you know, that's a great point because here's the deal, this mower's only been out since GIE last fall. Okay, so you feedback from guys like me and guys like you, leave comments down below. The guys at corporate read this stuff and they really appreciate the feedback. So if there's something you guys like or don't like, they can double down or get rid of it in the future. So, so are you gonna let me run? You wanna go test it out? Yeah. Okay, I don't have any waivers, so sorry Husqvarna, it's on the Dirt Monkeys uh, clock now. All right, <laughs> give, me my, give me my quick lesson here All right, quick. remember, you got Come on in, I wanna, I wanna here's, your, here's your parking brake. Right here, okay. Now again, here's the hassle. In my opinion, you have to keep this lever down, this is your safety. So just go slow with that up front. He drives uh, grandstand, he's, he's, he's also waiting. <laughs> Yeah. Hold on, time out. Okay. Check this out. Right there, if you have to get off the mower, if you have to grab something, you have to take your left hand off that safety. Anything you touch and do on the mower, you have to hold that safety. It's not annoying.
coming on on this thing. Yes, sir. That does a good job of flattening the grass. Right. But if I wanted to run over it, I could bring my four-wheeler out here and do just about as good of a job and have a little bit more fun sure. than I could doing with this. My Toro wouldn't do that. That's all I'm saying. Really? No. No. Well, there's one point in this video where I open my big mouth and I say, well, my Toro wouldn't do that. And, well, the truth is, I actually don't know if my Toro would do better or not. So the only way I can prove if it would is if I go in some tall grass and just try it out. Okay, I can tell you straight up, pass two with the Toro looks good to me. Way better than two passes on that Husqvarna. I'll give you that much, but we're not done yet. Pass number three. Call it what you want. I don't care either way. I still like my Toro better. Doesn't have the wonked out control pattern that that Husky had. Husqvarna. Just hands I'll be honest but this is really far away like it's uncomfortable to I can't get a good a grip on it and this with it dying like that yeah I can't get this down get this up and then reposition my hands yep. to get them where I want without it and dying. what happens if you want to pick your nose or well you can't unless you want to use this hand <laughs> that's where we you come into play more that's right, you gotta think it's, about it it's you gotta, you're not always gonna be there for him right oh, you draw the line there yeah, yeah. <laughs> i can't think that far ahead <laughs> well we don't want to say anything <laughs> does the that flip up grandstands you'll notice i have not used a grandstand except for right but you'll notice when you get it yeah same safety uh, you let go still runs not when the deck's on okay but if you shut the deck off and actually if I remember correctly if you had the deck on you let go the deck just shuts off I think like so it's a PTO safety versus right. a mower safety right exactly fine right. run through all the controls should be here's your safety here's your bottom guys if you're interested in more lawnmower review videos i'm going to highly suggest you go over to brian's channel and check him out because he's going to be doing reviews he's already started but he's going to continue to do them all summer long and this is a guy that cuts to the chase and that's the kind of review that i like and i figure you guys would like as well and let me know what you guys think of today's review do you like reviews like this i know it's a little bit longer 25 minutes or so Hopefully I didn't bore you guys too much. Let me know. Do I make my videos longer, shorter? Is this okay? I need to hear from you because you know what? I read everything you guys say. And with that, I'm going to say go check out Brian's channel. And I hope you guys have a wonderful, awesome day. God bless you guys. Go get them.